Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Bringing another Madden 18 tip video. I brought you guys a pass play video a little while ago, basically uh, explaining how the new passing system, the new target passing system worked. And I said if you guys liked that enough, it was popular enough, I'd bring out one for the other side of the ball, which is basically running the football. I could also do defensive, stopping the run, stopping the pass. Uh, I think those are some pretty good topics. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section what you want to see more. And I'll do that next. But for right now, I think running is probably the most dominant thing you can do on offense right now. It's just the way the game is set up. I mean, the blocking is OP. And I'm going to show you how basically, if you do it the right way, you can win games without ever throwing the ball. You could be like Tim Tebow out there and just 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 run 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 it's just it's insane how how easy it is to run the ball if you know what you're doing so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna start off uh with the single back ace here which is basically uh, a very vanilla um setup actually i think what i'll do i think i'll start off in something in the iphone we got the wing that's all we got so uh in this game one of the first things you got to know is they have a system called the weak box system so the most valuable formations for running the ball are ones with lots of tight ends so take your pick because there's a lot i'm using the eagles playbook to me it's probably the best uh running playbook in the game right now so let's pick the i form just so i can show you some things that i'm looking at uh we'll pick that first um, I'm just going to pick the power over. It really doesn't matter. And then on defense, we're going to pick something heavy. We're going to go 3-4. Now, I feel like my camera's a little bit close, but it's really not. So, basically, when running the football, uh, there's a couple of things that you, that you really want to do first. Number one, uh, you want to know where your gaps are. You're basically looking down the line. Where's the hole? Where do I have an opportunity um, for, for space? And one of the top ones I can see right away is right where my arrow is going. Uh, my guard here uh, looks like he's basically got a hole right in front of him. So to me, the best way to run this football would actually be a dive uh, because that pulling guard on the left side there could kind of let uh, somebody come in in his wake as my giant hands in the way <laughs> could actually let that inside linebacker shoot that gap and get in my way but this is an outside run anyway so i already know that even though i have a gap in the right in front of me unless i have a dive it, if i have a dive that's the way to go uh, but i don't have that in one of my audibles so it's not something i can exploit but if you did have a dive it would be best to switch over if i did have a dive it would be best to switch over and then motion this this defensive or this uh, tight end over to the other side and the reason for that is simple that outside linebacker is now going to be blocked if he stayed over here he's not going to be blocked essentially you need to make sure that he doesn't come off of the edge like i said this isn't the case that i can switch to a dive you want to make sure that he doesn't come off the back side and catch you from behind so you always want to make sure you have two things when you're running the football in this game you want to make sure that you have uh, a hole on the inside and you want to have outside containment those are the two most important things, especially if you're running outside. So let's say that I have, I'm going to run this play as is, which is basically going to be an outside run. Now, I don't have outside containment. That cornerback, the way he's dropping down, is going to force me up the middle. So now I want to do this to get outside containment. I always want to have somebody on my blocking system outside of their furthest defender. And now I have that. Basically, that tight end is going to get outside keep that corner to the point where i can go i call him a defensive end that tight end will get outside that corner to the point where i'll have the choice to go inside or outside and that's what i want now i just picked a random play here but i did something very important this is something you have to know uh, i picked a two tight end set and i and i basically forced my opponent here to make the mistake of not choosing a matching formation this is huge in this game this year if you haven't been keeping up uh, with with all the updates they have a new thing which they're calling it the weak box system which basically means if you don't match large personnel on defense with large personnel on offense the offense is going to get a huge advantage basically all these cornerbacks are going to get pancaked this year like crazy it basically when you see something like this it puts your offensive line on steroids so you have to count inside the box you have to look inside the box on every play am i going against a weak formation or not because that is a huge advantage and if you are going against the weak formation if you notice right away hey this is a small formation you have to run a hurry up right away you got to know the weak box system that's huge this year so we're going to move on the next thing i want to show is some really good run moves i'm going to do that i think i'd like to do a segment real quick uh, where i essentially show you guys how to read your blocking and also basically create your own blocking when you run the football in this game how you react to your linemen will 
really make them effective. Uh, if you react a appropriately to your linemen, it will make them block better. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Right here, right away, I got a pulling uh, 87. So basically, I'm just going to get behind him to an extent. You really want to ride his back and be right behind him. You want it, you want him, if, if I ran wide, if I took this outside right here, it would totally mess up this block. If I was, if I got nervous or whatever and ran outside to this point, 24 would skip right past 87 and he would cut me off. But because I read my blocks and I slowed down to the point where I allowed him to do his job. I put that I put that blocker in between me and the defender, and that's why this block sets up. Like I said, if I ran outside, I would screw this block completely. But I did that, so look at that. I basically follow him and I turn him into a blocker. That's how Madden's system works. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter that 87 is a great blocker. If I do something wrong, I will be penalized for it. So now I got 83 blocking downfield for me. What do I do? Hmm, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna run right behind him again. You want to be as parallel as you can. You want your shoulders to be parallel to his shoulders as much as you can. I'm running right at this guy to make sure that that blocker does exactly what he's supposed to do and runs right at that corner. And then once he engages, you know, once they engage, you're free to do what you want. All right, so next up, I want to go over some effective ball carrier moves. Uh, this first one here is the spin move. The spin move wasn't very good last year, but it's back in a big way. Um, it's not my favorite move, but it's really good. When you want to use the spin move, and this one here, this play's kind of blown up right away. When you're parallel, or the guys essentially pass you a little bit over pursuing, um, a really good move to use is the spin move. You can see how there, he's right in the pocket when I use that, and it just basically, I got tackled by the next guy. I mean, there's a lot of guys around, but but bottom line, that spin move made that first guy miss. Uh, I think a juke move is a good one too. I'm going to try to show you that one next. Juke move is one of the best ones. But how I did this is I essentially just held the activator button, which I think is L2 or the left trigger, and then I hit uh, the circle button, and that just puts on a really nasty uh, move. That works against users and computers in this game this year. If you have a high elusiveness and do these type of moves, it's going to work out. So let's see another one. All right, so next up I got the juke move. The juke move is... Uh, probably the best one in the game by far. Um, I actually used the juke move last year. A lot of people think that the juke move was really toned down last year. Maybe it was, but I actually used it quite a bit last year, and it was still really strong. This year, it's just like on easy mode. Uh, basically, it's real simple. Um, here, the guy's cutting me off once again, or he's even. I think this one works a little bit better when he's even uh, than the last one. The spin move, I think, is better when he's over-pursuing, but this one right here, you kind of want to square him up, and then you want to hit L2 again, and uh, the right stick to the left and essentially if you time it right it doesn't matter what the guy does he's just getting pooped on as you see he's just flying there i mean this here it doesn't matter what direction the guy's coming either it's just like this move just scrambles uh the brains of the defenders i'll go ahead and i'll do that in like full motion because i think that was a little bit faster in full motion but um but yeah this is just that's just that's the spin move. that's the juke move this year it's just easy mode if you do it right it's it's almost untackleable so here just to show you i did this uh juke move both ways and like i said it doesn't really matter the angle here he's squared up i did it to the right and i don't know why it worked it didn't work nearly as effective you can see he's not like falling all over himself and whiffing and stuff like that like he did in the last play but i did it to the other side you can just see it's not as dynamic uh he just doesn't do quite as much that was right stick to the uh, to the right it's not nearly as, as productive but you see it got the job done and then here at the end the guy's coming at me so it would make sense to do the juke to the opposite way but just to show you what I'm talking about I did it towards him and I still scrambled his brains so like I said you have to hit the right stick to the left all right so next up is the truck stick now you want to uh, back with high trucking for these other moves I just showed you you know, you want a good juke move or spin move or whatever, but really just good agility would work. Uh, this one here, you want high trucking. A guy with high strength will work. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott's pretty good. Uh, but basically, the truck stick is, is a very powerful tool if you have the right guy. Uh, basically, you're just, you know, taking a guy head on. And I feel like I'm kind of far away here. But uh, you're taking a guy head on. You're hitting the same L2 or left trigger. And then you're just hitting up or forward on the, uh, on the right stick which um, is where all your action things come from. And you're basically, if you're just beating him with a punch, you're just gonna blow him up uh, like I did there. I don't know why I'm following the guard. Um, but you know, this here, you just want, when you do this, you wanna be right in the pocket. Now, look how close I am to this guy. He's trying to come for the tackle and I'm just running right through him. All right, so next up we got the stiff arm. This one right here, this, is, this can be used from anywhere as I'm showing you here. 
as you see there he kind of just puts it looks more like a forearm but um, let's go ahead and let's reverse this as you see I'm already putting the the, the stiff arm out like I say he just kind of you know it was it wasn't a clean stiff arm but you can see he's putting the hand up there but either way the stiff arm can be used pretty much anywhere but you really want to use it mostly when when the, when the defender is parallel to you all right, so that's it. If you guys want to see more defensive tip videos, offensive tip videos, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, if you guys want to see anything specific in my tip videos, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shut out.